The trick is to kind of pre-fit your door panels to make sure you can get everything in there. And uh, I kind of go through and poke all my holes in the in the moisture barrier at first. This is just a really unique car, you know, one of one. And I wouldn't blame the owner. I'd do it as close to original as I possibly could too. The Roadrunner basically was just uh, a go fast, you know, race car type of thing. You know, it was for the low budget, you know, guys that wanted to go out and, you know, have fun in their car. So it's the base model was just, uh, you know, a two door hard top or you can get a two door post. So no frills, you know, just had some call outs, you know, and some stripes on them and stuff. They sold a ton of the 69 Roadrunners. I mean, they, I forget the base price was like around 2,600 bucks, 2,800 bucks. Uh, now that I got the driver's side door all buttoned up and, and, and finished, I'll go ahead and move over to the passenger side door and start getting the door panel and all the hardware on it as well. The passenger door's all done, got all the hardware on, door panel, looks fantastic. Uh, now I get to put that really nice piece of uh, bling on there, that beautiful polished sill plate. And they go right in this area here and they just look fantastic. You can see it just totally sets off that color of this car. You know, it's too bad this car doesn't have just a ton of chrome on it. I mean, it's got a lot of stainless around the windshield, but every little piece of chrome we put on this car just really sets it off. I kind of look at it and see, you know, you want a little bit of carpet over your pinch weld there because you want it to set down. I got to back cut this carpet here a little bit, and then I want to cut the carpet so it'll expose where all my screw holes are. Right where this sewn uh, seam is right here on the carpet, it's really thick. So you put that on top of another layer of carpet and it's super thick. And then that sill plate's not gonna sit all the way flush. Whenever you start to screw it down, it's gonna actually put a kink in it on the top. So I kind of put a little relief cut in there and take a little bit of that out. And what that'll do is it'll allow it to uh, sit down a little bit better for me. So this I'll actually use on the pinch well and the other one I'll cut just on the inside of the pinch well. We're ready to get our scuff plate in here. Uh, these use a pan head screw. It's kind of a cool screw. It's a stainless screw. Yeah, we try to replicate the, the fasteners the best we can. You know, a lot of them, you know, I think aren't perfect. That's why you can never, never beat the original thing. Uh, that looks fantastic. The car's really coming together. It's starting to look like a, a true muscle car now.